So you want to make a QML application in Python, but you have no idea where to begin. That's what we're going to cover in this video. Go ahead and click New File a Project and choose Python, and we're going to create a Python file. If you don't see that option, go ahead and update your Qt Creator. Choose Next, give it a name, and give it the path you want your file to be in. We're going to go ahead and switch this to File System View, and we're going to show containing folder. In here, we're just going to paste some files that we need for this project. We have a logo and we have our QML file. For this tutorial, it's assumed you already know QML. We're going to go ahead and switch this back to our Python file and we're just going to copy and paste the code that we need to run this. Clearly, this is a very basic application. All it's going to do is print hello world. What we're going to do next is we're going to actually go ahead and build a full GUI application that's going to use QML and it's going to use the QStringList model to display some information. First thing we're going to need to do is actually get our data. For this, we're going to use country.io and we're just going to download a JSON file. Let's go ahead and get the response. And let's read that data back. Once we have the data, we want to actually format it. So we get our list, and we're just going to simply say for key value in data either items. And we want to just append that to our list. We're going to say list append. Let's go ahead and sort that. That way our data looks nice and neat. Next on our list, we need to actually set up the application window. To do that, we have to make a few variables. First one is going to be called app. It's going to be a Q graphic user interface application. And we're just going to hand it the arguments. Now we need to make a view. This view is going to be a Q quick view. The important thing we need to do next is set the resize mode. And this is very important. So we're going to say view set resize mode. The reason why this is important is it will determine how your application is actually resized. We're going to say the QQuick view, and we want the size root object to view. What this will do is it will take our root object and expand it with the view. If we don't do this, the window will expand, but our root object will stay the same size, and it will look very amateurish. We want a professional application. To continue, we need to expose a model to the QML code. The model is actually the list that we downloaded of all the country names. So we're going to say my model, and we're going to make a new QString list model. From here, we want to set the string list. This just fills in the data. To expose that list, we need to say view, and we want the root context. We need to set the context property. And we need to expose the my model variable. To our object in Python. Pay special attention to line 34. What we're doing here is setting the context property. Effectively, we're binding one variable to another. We're saying take the Python variable, my model, and turn it into a QML variable, or actually expose that. You can see in the QML code, we have a list view, and in that view, we're actually consuming that model. Let's go ahead and load that QML file. 
we're going to say QML file equal os.path.join. And let's go ahead and join the directory name for the script. And let's go ahead and join this with the actual name, which is view.qml. So we're going to say view, set source, we're going to set this from the local file, and we want the OS path, and we want the absolute path to our QML file. We're almost done. We have two more small steps. First is we need to show that window. So we're going to say if the view status. And we want to check to see if this is a cute quick view error. Then we just simply want to exit out of this. And let's give it a negative one exit code. That way any consuming process will know this did not work as expected. And now we're just simply gonna show the view. Last, but certainly not least, we wanna execute and clean up. So we're gonna exec the application and then that'll enter a application loop. Once the loop is completed, we wanna go ahead and clean up. There, our application's now complete. Now that our code is complete, let's go ahead and run this application. We're gonna right click on the Python file and open terminal from here. Where do people use Qt? All over the world. If you're like me, you're hungry for more. Visit Qt.io, click on resources, then go to development, tech talks and tutorials. As you can see, we have got a ton of tutorials out there. Go ahead and visit today and let us know what you think. I'll see you there.